All right, so love starting the video off with some packing. Here's the drone, the camera, all the batteries, and the telephone lens. There is a new addition to this, which is the DJI Pocket 3, which is what I'm filming on right now. Hopefully I can get this test it out thoroughly in downtown Seattle. Right now I have the mic set up and everything. Uh, let's head out to downtown to see if we can grab some shots. All right, so we gotta get coffee first. So the first spot is a uh, coffee holic. We can go grab some and then we'll be on our way. I think this is a parking spot right here. I think I'm gonna hit up Pike Place first, walk around, see what we can get from there. And Also, it's a little early for cherry blossoms to be blooming, but here they are. Uh, all right, let's snap some photos real quick. These sharp corners. Yeah, let's see what we can get. This is actually really cool. Hands on spear. I believe you can go in here every first Thursday or something, last Thursday of the month. We can get. All right, so just got back from Seattle uh, from a quick walk around with the DJI Pocket 3. Overall, super impressed with it. I think a lot more creators are gonna start using the Pocket for a lot of their footages, especially what you can get for $700 or roughly $700. Issues up to 4K60 in 10-bit D-Log, which is, in my opinion, what made it stand out from, let's say, a GoPro or Insta360. For me, color grading is the funnest part in post-production, and so having a very flat footage already to work with, such as D-Log M, it just 
makes it a lot more easy to work with. Also, it comes with a mic and a wide angle lens. And so, like I said, for $700, it's, it's kind of hard to beat. So pretty excited to use this extensively in my trips. Um, I previously had the Pocket 2 and, and that stopped working recently. I, I actually think I have footage of that breaking. I guess my biggest concern with the Pocket 3 is that how durable the gimbal is, especially when it's not in this case. And I think that's how my Pocket 2 broke, is that the gimbal was in my pocket as I was walking around and then when I pulled out to use it, I think the gimbal had been slightly adjusted where it couldn't readjust back and then it just started to overheat constantly. So next week, I'm actually gonna head home, back home to Alaska. And when I come back, I'm looking to do more overlanding and camping videos. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for that one. All right, take care guys.